there is definitely potential for um, increased business in the town, just in the sheer number of folks that will be getting off the ships. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking at ways right now to bring these people up from the waterfront, yeah. which is downtown, into more parts of downtown. Mm -hmm. So I'm chatting with some of our community partners, Explorers Edge being one of them, trying to work out um, some ways that they can help with some transportation or or some way to help get them up that hill and into the rest of the downtown. Daneman says there is still an issue even with more passengers visiting the downtown area. A lot of the retailers have don't see a lot of business from them. Mm -hmm. uh, the, a lot of the passengers will come in, so the stores are full, which is good. It looks really good that town is full. There's lots of stuff happening, um, but often there's just like some weight restrictions or other rules with them that they can't take a whole lot of stuff back with them. But she says there's also a solution being discussed that could potentially lean on tourists that aren't coming in from the ships. So these cruise ships are really cool to see. So if you see that ship come in, you know, from from the open waters into our port, mm -hmm. um, if we can draw the attention of the cottagers and the campers that are here um, for months at a time and draw them in, They'll drive in, they'll bring their families, mm -hmm. they'll want to stay for lunch, they'll maybe do some shopping. So there's a bigger potential for business with that group of people, likely than the cruise ship passengers themselves. Downtown right now is working on some marketing projects mm -hmm. that um, will help those people who will be coming in to check out these ships mm -hmm. um, navigate how to get through downtown and, and other parts.